Good morning, everybody. What an amazing crowd. What an amazing stage. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to the Planet Tech stage at the Web Summit. Um, this is the stage where leading innovative startups, where big businesses, and also where all our influencers all come together to put a spotlight on the technologies and innovations to solve some of our greatest environmental challenges. This is also the stage where you'll hear about the future, the, the new economy that we're all working together to build. Um, as you all know, climate change is real. We are seeing the impacts. Um, we've got more extreme storms. Yesterday at the climate change conference in Bonn, the COP23 conference, the World Meteorological Organization announced its latest findings. And 2017 is set to be the warmest year on record. Again, the last five years have been the warmest year on record. And this is affecting our whole um, uh, climate sphere. We are seeing the impacts. But we are the generation that can also solve it. And we've got the technologies at our hands. We've got the digital solutions that we can implement. So really, this is our opportunity, the business opportunity of our lifetime to develop and innovate climate and environmental solutions. And that is what we're bringing to Planet Tech stage today. Just to put a, a number to it, uh, the IFC, uh, which is part of the World Bank, the organization that I work for, um, highlighted that the investment opportunity in climate solutions until 2030 is $23 trillion. $23 trillion, that's a huge business opportunity. And you guys, you can be part of that opportunity. Um, I was at the opening of the climate conference yesterday, and the message very much is that we are uniting for climate action. We're coming together further, faster, um, and together. So with that, let's, let's have an introduction video from Sheryl Sandberg, the CEO of Facebook. Let's play the video. I'm Sheryl Sandberg, the CEO of Facebook and founder of Lean In and Option B. I'm so glad to join you at the Web Summit, at least via video. This year has been challenging for many communities. We've seen devastating hurricanes in the Caribbean and the US, earthquakes in Mexico, and wildfires in California, Spain, and Portugal. So much going on all around the world. In times of crisis, people want to and need to come together to support one another and rebuild. And they rely more than ever on technology that helps them stay connected. During Hurricane Harvey, two complete strangers met on Facebook and drove around Texas in a truck rescuing people. In Puerto Rico, nonprofits have been working with tech companies like Facebook to help restore mobile and internet connectivity to the millions without it, and we're proud to have been part of those efforts. And from California to Portugal, friends and family members are raising millions on Facebook for people who've lost their homes. These stories remind us that the right tools can help people support each other even in the hardest times. We all have a responsibility to make it easier for people to access technology so they can create even more good in the world. You, you heard it from Facebook. Technology is helping us deal with the climate impacts that we're feeling today. It is technology also that is helping us reduce that global emissions curve to build a low carbon resilient economy, the economy that we need for our future. And you guys are part of that. So as you feel inspired by our speakers today, Please engage with them, message them through the, through the app. Um, join the conversation online with hashtag Planet Tech and really help us build that Planet Tech economy, the economy that will solve our big environmental solutions. And with that, I'm sure you will be inspired by uh, the speakers that are making a difference today. They are the, the ones that are using solutions and technology to, to, to drive profits. They're the big brands that are decarbonize, de decarbonizing, decarbonizing their carbon footprint. And they're also the, the innovators and the technologies that are helping us live a sustainable lifestyle and reversing our plastic pollution. And with that, um, I'd like to uh, bring our next speaker, uh, our first speaker up on stage. Um, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you Rob Bernard from Microsoft. Data is integral to the future of our planet. From informing smart policy action 
that reduces carbon to creating the new tools that reduce emissions. Here to tell us how developers can join efforts and companies to hack the future, please welcome Microsoft Chief Environmental Strategist Rob Bernard. Thank you, Rob. Thank you.